the soul becomes dyed with the colour of its thoughts. Hello everybody, I'm Wolf, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3. Uh, in the last episode we did venture into uh, this new section of Irithyll out here. Uh, we moved through uh, quite nicely actually, um, up until the point where we came up against a couple of crocodilian creatures that ended up killing us a couple of times. And right now, you guessed it, you are correct, we are heading right back to them. And this time, I'm sure we'll be able to kill them. Make no mistake, I'll make sure we get the win this time. Um, but in addition to that, we also uh, kind of explored along this little courtyard area, as well as in the room just under there, and up top where the pyromancers appear to be. Um, killed those enemies, uh, tightened them up just fine, explored the environment a little bit, and also noticed, um, although I didn't ex explicitly mention it, uh, we noticed the, the connecting bridge up there, um, which of course was from an Orlando in Dark Souls 1. Uh, but anyway, that, that pretty much sums up what happened in the previous episode, as well as a couple of other tidbits as well. But, you know, I can only keep those summaries so <laughs> so short, you know. Uh, there's no point narrating absolutely everything that happened, right? That, that's what the video is for. Go back and watch it, people. <laughs> um, but anyway, yes, moving in here. I am hoping that we are able to uh, continue nicely in this episode and clear out these, you know tough creatures. Uh, in addition to exploring what that knight is doing over there, whether he's alive or not actually, as well as, um, you know, where this room may lead, what the loot, loot pieces are, and things alike. All that stuff. So without further ado, let's continue. Pull this guy over here. Is it me, or... Hmm. Each time I come down here, <laughs> Do we need to get closer to him to make him trigger? It certainly seems that way. I remember the first time he triggered when I was all the way back here, but I don't know. You'd think somebody with six eyes would be able to see what's going on, right? Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus, I can't see crap. Okay, that this it's suffering from that right here. My God, and I don't want to go out into the main portion of the room because the uh oh shit because the other one's gonna trigger on me. Oh my God, we got him. There we go. At least, uh, like I say. When we concentrate up a little bit, we're okay. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Totally fine. Alrighty, now then, let's actually... Let's do a bit of that. It's not going to be any others, right? Other than this guy over here. I certainly hope not. Try and poison this dude. Combat during the fight. Much more room to deal with him here, at least, which I am very much grateful for. Not poisoned yet, I see. That mentioned, I am uh, I'm not even sure what uh, poison resistance these guys have got, but I thought he might have taken it over, over those few hits. Ooh, we actually got like a... Oh, man, I, I, I regret not being able to capitalize on that. We got a special, uh, you know, supposed guard-breaking special hit there of some kind in which we could have uh, performed a, a visceral attack or repost, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
sadly, we took the option to, to back up a little bit and heal instead of uh, capitalising on that. How did that even hit us? I'm dead again here. Oh my god. I don't know why I struggle so much with these guys. Maybe I'm not tuned in enough, seriously. I don't know. I am being more patient than he originally was, though, at least. Less aggressive, but we're surviving because of it, so that's fine. One more attack. There we go. I'll take it. <laughs> Yo, okay. Ring of favor. Ring of favor, there we go. Holy hell, no way. A ring symbolizing the favor of the goddess Fina, whose fateful beauty is mentioned in legend. True to, fickle <clears throat> true to the fickle nature of Fina's favor, her ring increases max HP, stamina, and max equip load. Awesome. That is pretty cool. We've uh, danced around with that plenty in the past. Hey, really cool. Really cool stuff. Nice to see that make an appearance here. I wonder if it breaks when you try and take it off again. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I may equip it, though. Let's take a look. Let's just see how much health upgrade we get from it, though. Oh, damn, there's a bonfire right there as well. Did that appear? I think that appeared once I'd killed them, right? Pretty sure, at least. Um. Now... Let's see. Where's our HP? Hey, our equip load doesn't get much benefit from it, that's for sure. Only a little bit. That's fine. What about our HP? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing, right? Yeah, I was looking at totally the wrong thing there. I was looking at, like, I don't know. Uh, either way. So here we go from... Um, I mean, it's still not a lot, right? Then again, it's a couple of points. It's like 2.2 .2 points, a little bit of a percentage there as well. Um, health, stamina. You know what? It's not bad. I think I'm going to actually equip it. That could be okay there. Might not be too bad for us. Um, then again, this is still cool. Boost attacks when HP is full. Let's go back to that. Oh, I think we may have just... Uh, did we lose it? No, we didn't. Okay, that's cool. All right, enough messing around with that. But, um, like I was saying, very fun. Very fun to have actually grabbed that deep gem there. We'll rest at the bonfire in just a moment as well. Human dregs. Okay, we'll give that a read as well. Very interesting little segment here under the, under the castle. Huge room, you know, shallow water in the bottom. It still looks very well kept. I mean, candles still burning. Everything looks clean, but that could be due to the moisture in the room. Couple of destroyed pillars there, but that's fine. I don't know, quite a, quite a curious location. Let's rest up here. Glad we managed to rest there. Hey, we seem to have picked up quite a few souls from those two guys as well. Let's uh, let's go back to Firelink and see what we can do with them in the future. Or see what we can level up with, I should say. Oh, this guy looks creepy as hell. Though it does appear as though we found another, uh, another Covenant. Pray to Archdeacon McDonnell. Didn't we read about him a little bit earlier? I'm sure we did. I am sure we read about that guy um, going back a good few episodes. Hmm, should we join the Covenant? Let's go for it, why not? Aldrich Faithful. You've obtained proof of the Covenant. Brilliant. Ah, so... The Human Dreg is a Covenant item. I'm going to assume that this is maybe something to do with PvP. 
Uh, I'm not going to offer it, but I am certainly going to give it a read just to see what the hell's going, you know, what the hell the situation is with it. Let's take a bit of a look, sir. Probably in this section. Yes, there it is. Human dregs, proof of a duty fulfilled by the Aldrich faithful who patiently await the devourer of God's return. Uh, dregs are the heaviest things within the human body and will sink into the lowest depths imaginable where they become the shackles that bind this world. Very deep and complex uh, imagery there for the human dreg. Intriguing. We'll sink into the lowest depths imaginable. I'm wondering if I'm wondering if that's metaphoric or not. Um, you know, it says that it's the heaviest thing within the human body. You know, in which you know when you read into that, it obviously um, seems to describe it as being a physical thing. But then it says, and it will sink into the lowest depths imaginable. So you could take that being it sinks to the bottom of the body you know so it'll be down near you know below the the legs or in the legs somewhere or maybe it will drag the person to the lowest depths imaginable mentally i'm not sure I, i'm not sure i'm just i'm just trying to theorize a little bit here and break open a bit of the meaning behind what this is where they become shackles that bind this world yeah, once again, if it affects you mentally, that, that will be the, the new world, the world that you then see. That, that's what it becomes. Interesting. Interesting stuff. But there he is. There he is anyway. We're not going to... We're not going to offer the dregs, though. We're going to stay... You know, we, we'll go into the covenant, but we're not going to offer anything just yet, buddy. Um, right now, what we are going to do is go back to Firelink Shrine. Um, level up just a tad. And then, and only then, Earth, will we continue back here. Alrighty, let's go. Back to the good old Firelink. Uh, and then I think we'll be walking along them catwalks. Um, possibly some more buttress stuff. Uh, trying to avoid the archers. We shall soon see. Also, that noise. I'm not sure what that noise is when I, you know, keep... When I go from place to place. I'm going to have a look to see if something's appearing on the upper levels in just a moment. Welcome. Very well Let's see. First of all, though, we'll bang a couple into decks. Once again, just getting a bit more damage for it. Well, Very nice. And let's continue on up. See if there is anything for us here. Anything that may be going on. I don't know, it doesn't appear to be the case. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that, that we're embered up as we, you know, teleport in. I don't know, I'm not I'm not too sure. Regardless though, that's fine. Um In fact, how many Titanite chunks have we got? Let's take a look at that. We've only got one. I think we need another one to uh level up this halberd further. Uh, what about you? Have you got any? That would be awesome if you did. No, only regular Titanite right now. Well, that just sucks, doesn't it? Ashen one. Never mind, though. Alrighty. Here we go. Back to it. Let's travel. Water reserve. There we go. Maybe maybe that's exact, Maybe exactly that uh, describes what that room is for. Uh, of course, it's running low right now, but... Yeah, that's quite interesting. That's that's quite an interesting point there. Interesting little description that makes us think even more about the area. Maybe this whole room, albeit as as grand and fabulously carved as it is, um, may have just been a water reserve for the city. You know, this place was filled right to the top, and if any more was needed, hell, you've got uh, <laughs> the entire, you know square footage and cubage of this room filled with water that you can then supply the citizens of the town with. 
And considering it is quite clearly a wealthy area through the way every single segment of the area looks, and of course what the area once was, they could probably afford to have a room as grand as this just to act as a water storage facility. That's quite interesting. I know that's something that's kind of a, a very simple idea there, but I quite like it. I quite, <laughs> I quite like um, looking at it from that angle. Really sweet. Very cool stuff. All right, it quads are burning once again. God damn, won't need to do any squats at the gym later. Um, <laughs> after climbing up that those ladders, god damn. Um, now we could continue this way, but I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way, continue up here, and see what uh, see what lies ahead. And there's another item on top of that tower as well. Ooh, and here, all kinds of pieces of loot right now. Titanite scales. Just checking to see if there's any drop downs that we can do here. Alright, looks like we'll be able to there. Not sure if that's the way to go though. Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, there you go. There's the buttress and there's the uh, the knight just above my helmet right there. <laughs> so we can fight that guy. One of the archers. Hmm. Okay. I was just having a good look there just to make sure that there was no others. Um, which they very well could be. Uh, but just also taking in the, the environment as well as far as um, the architecture is concerned. I always like to have a look around. But anyway, let's head on up this way. Live Sight Knight's Shard. Where's my chunks at, though? Where beeth my chunks? Hey, this this place is a lot uh, a lot wider than previously. Oh, God. Get off. Kick. Okay. Poison through that, are you? Or oh, hyper armor in. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help get, but get distracted by that. That's for sure. My god. <laughs> this arrow, man. This arrow right through the top of my head. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're dead. We are so dead here. Or not. Somehow. Jesus. <laughs> I am an absolute pincushion right now. Okay, let's just wail on him. Trade for trade. There you go. He's gone. Trying to avoid these others. Yeah, you're the one. You're the one that was hitting us before. Got him. Take that. Man, the higher and higher we go in Irithyll, the better it even the better it looks. It's so awesome. I should actually try more when playing these games as well. I realise that uh, sometimes, in fact quite a bit of the time, I, I don't really try when I'm playing. <laughs> I guess it would make for a better spectacle if I did, but I don't know, especially when blind, I I enjoy the focus on, you know, the commentary and, you know, enjoying the game off camera as I would and just soaking it all in rather than putting on a top, the you know, the most top tiered display as far as combat's concerned. And again, we still have our good moments, that's for sure, but you get the point, right? I'm just speaking from an overall sense. Hmm. But anyway... Oh, man. Like I was saying, it really does. It looks so awesome. It looks so freaking awesome the higher we get. Quite close to the, the bridge there now as well, which is cool. And once again, we do see the Curse Rotten Greatwood boss room up there again. Man, it's so awesome. I, I love the way it all ties together. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Okay, got to check in these little crevasses. These little... I mean, I guess it's not a crevasse, right? But the little cubby hidey holes in the environment. Let's have a bit of a look. 
Can we see through those windows? We cannot. Guess they want the privacy. They want the privacy in there. Man, there's even a further... There's another way to go down here as well. Um, Yeah, I guess let's do that. Man, there's just so many different routes and paths and uh, little swinging directions that we can approach from. It's nice. It is nice. Ooh, the Eastern Azashias. That's a new one. A new one indeed. The uh, handmaiden back at the shrine will be happy with us once we deliver those to her. Awesome. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's where we were earlier. I did see that. That's when we walked around that little corner down there and we were getting shot at from above. Oh no, that was just over in that one. I explored the corner on the left there just to see if there was anything that we could find, but uh, there wasn't anything there. You guys get the point. You know exactly exactly what I'm talking about there, I'm sure. Okay, let's read the Eastern as Ashes. See what's in here. Take a look. Oh, it's going to be under the, the keys, right? Yeah, there we go, I thought so. Easterner's ashes, umbral ash of an armor merchant from an eastern land. Surely, the handmaid of Firelink Shrine can turn this into a few things. Um, the merchant, the captain of a clan of hunters, was fascinated with weaponry. Now that's interesting. You can call me crazy here, but am I crazy for having the, the merchant in the Undead Burg, come to mind there. Merchant from an eastern land. Fascinated with weaponry. If you kill that guy, he does drop the Uchi Katana. That's basically what I'm going off right there. And of course, it is an eastern weapon, so it makes sense for him to have been, you know, using that. I don't know, that could be a little far-fetched, but it's worth the worth sharing the thought there for sure. Now, Captain of a Clan of Hunters, I don't know, unless that's more development um, on the character's history. Which it very well could be, but yeah, hmm, rather intriguing. Maybe I look at things from warped perspectives sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> but it's fun, it's a lot of fun regardless, I can certainly say that. And this was the place which we could have uh, walked up from down there too, which is nice. Is there anything down on this platform though? Oh, there is another one right there. Well, we'll take this opportunity. Good. BS as well. Brilliant. He's still alive, but we'll heal f just first. And then tidy him up with one more hit. Perfect. Simple. And two more Titanite Shards. Damn, we, we must be approaching nearly 50 of those right now. Uh, if only we could combine them all together to make large shards and then combine all them together to make chunks. Would be rather cool. <clears throat> and then again, I was theorizing about the tr chunks a little bit earlier as well. Um, then again, not really theorizing, but just stating that it'd be cool if the handmaid had chunks. Maybe, just maybe, this new one will give us such a thing. The Dragon Slayer Great Bone, Dragon Slayer Arrows. That makes total sense here. Of course, I guess there's no uh, no better place to put it than here, right? Hmm, we've dropped down here, so now we can't get back up, but it was definitely worth coming down here first just to take a bit of a look to see if there's anything further. Um, though I am aware that we will need to walk down this buttress, wrap around there, and walk across to that uh, that structure just there. To which we saw a ladder. Uh, I believe we did see a ladder in there, so uh, that's going to open up into that area, I believe. Nice little wrap around. Maybe there's another bonfire in there. Maybe there's um, a particular item of certain use. I'm not sure, but uh, within time we'll be able to check that out. Nothing. No hidey holes back here, it looks like. What about here, though? <clears throat> nope. Okay, one more here. Got to try it. Nothing there either. That's okay. Now we can drop back down here. I like how that wraps around. That's really cool. Really cool the way that works. 
but uh, before actually... Oh, God, that ghost scared the hell out of me. <laughs> that was a little bit freaky. Um, but yeah, instead of just walking around past those deacons down there, we will actually uh, go back here and approach from the other buttress just on the left. I guess we can top ourselves up too. Why not? A bit more HP there. In addition to that, another drink beeth required. Okay, dokie. <clears throat> we'll probably be good there now until the end of the episode, I would assume. Oh! No. <laughs> oh my god, hey, is this a... Uh... Hold up, is this actually... Uh, once again, I don't even know if it's an NPC or a freaking player. Not a single clue. It's a player, right? It's a player for sure. <laughs> what what kind of timing was that uh, for this guy to spawn into our world there? That's crazy. Okay, I see he's uh, very slow in his playstyle. Very passive. Okay, dude. Oh, Jesus. The R1 spams. I'm falling victim to it. If it was Dark Souls 1, he'd be on his back by now. I need to uh, get used to it. Holy fuck. Got him. Uh, ex what? I spammed it. I mustn't have had any uh, stamina there at all. But I spammed that freaking parry. Holy hell. I mean, I, I spammed the attack following the parry. He seems a little bit more scared now, at least. Okay, his, his um, style is wait for the enemy to attack, spam R1 three times, and then stop and wait for the enemy to attack again. So we just won't attack and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, a bait from range. Okay. Oh, forgot about that, yeah. <laughs> Henceforth, I've not done too much. And again, I've done a fair bit in Dark Souls 2, but... Um, not too much uh, PvP in uh, Dark Souls 2 compared to Dark Souls 1. When, of course, that wasn't a thing. Because uh, the PvP in Dark Souls 2 sucked. Uh, in Dark Souls 1, it was... Fan freaking tastic. God damn. <laughs> that was it was just the weirdest time in it. It seemed as though it was uh I don't know, it was such a weird spawn point, you know, just while I was stood there. I bet to that guy it might have even looked like I was camping it when of course you guys know I wasn't. Um But it was <laughs> I don't know, that was just weird. That was weird as hell. Good to be reminded of the guard break um, move, though, that's for sure. I forgot about that. Alright, uh, let's move back up there to the knights, and we'll drop down to uh, that final buttress that we were approaching. It does look as though there may be an actual... Why is this ladder so big? <laughs> it does look as though there was um, a possible door entry there as well, though I'm not sure whether it's something that we can enter, or whether it's a... Um, just a, a piece of the environment used to, you know, tie things together. I'm not sure. Short run back at least. That's totally fine. Oh, and we finally get caught in the face there. Alright. And around we go. <laughs> is there going to be an entrance back here? Oh, there is another another one of these knights. We've not killed this one yet either, so... That was good. Uh, let's make sure to tighten up this guy. And I'm wondering... No, maybe there's not going to be a illusory wall. I understand why this area was set up as it was. It wraps around, like, quite far. There's quite a, a deep curve to this area wrapping around. So you're probably going to think, oh, there's just going to be a wall there. There's nothing. To which then the player stands on here... This guy shoots you down the 
like off here, the other two enemies get triggered and then they attack you. I believe that was the purpose of this setup here for this kind of little area. The attention to detail once again is is pretty nice to pay attention to in my opinion. That kind of um, level design and, and enemy placement is it's always nice to break down. Way too slow. Oh, I'm not about that either. I don't want to fight a freaking ranged guy and a melee guy at the same time. I'd rather have two melees just like this. That's perfect. Or not, because he's gone back to ranged. Good. Okay, and they got us. Okay, is that actually... Okay, it does look like a room where you can go in. From the angle above, it kind of looks like it was a little bit faded black. Uh, to the point where it was just going to be a doorway that we could see but couldn't access kind of thing. Um, but no, it does actually look like we can make our way down them stairs there and get a moving. Also, I think I realised what that sound was. That sound that procs when we... You know, go to... Oh, this guy's trapped here as well, fighting those guys. Um, when that sound procs, when we travel from place to place or respawn, you get the idea. Um, there is a... You know, the, the, the bars flash up on your screen for the, the cooldown of the... You know, curse, poison, you know, the different attributes such as those things. But, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with that. I still stand by what I said a couple of episodes back as well about this crown certainly being the one that fits with this armor set the best out of uh, the other headpieces that we've got. Maybe there is something else in one of these games or um, in this game that actually does, you know, fit with this gear pretty well as well. But as far as the ones go that we've got, it's definitely this crown, number one, without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, let's get around. Still not sure what the exact parry timing is for this game. To be totally honest. Calm down though. Oh no, he's going to get BS'd off of there, right? Then again, maybe we can finish him this way, surely. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you can come up here, one at a time. Or maybe the guy from the right is going <laughs> to wrap around and double team as well. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. There we go. Ah, it must have been... Damn, maybe if we would have actually got the repost on that guy, we might have been able to beat him. I don't know. Ah, well, never mind. It is what it is. I've, I'll practice my uh, Dark Souls 3 PvP over time, so it's no big deal. As I said in my, you know, recent videos of Dark Souls 1 as well, um, you know, the PvP that we've been doing, uh, the few episodes that we've got up of, of that, uh, as I have described, I think once or twice in those videos, I'm not somebody to get salty in the PvP anyway. Whether I win or lose, it's just one of those things. It's not something that I bother about at all. It's just a fun time. <laughs> to be totally honest. There we go. Good kill. Picking up quite of the quite a large amount of the Silver Knight armor here as well, which is nice. Very cool. Alrighty, now where do we go? Is there a bonfire there? Wait, hold on. I recognize this. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, the bonfire, though. It's like... Oh, that's sad. That is sad as hell. It's like the bonfire's gone. It, it, there's even cracks where it once was. Now nothing remains there. I wonder, though. I wonder... If we can, uh, 
Oh my god, it's actually real. Oh my god. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to lose my... Uh, I'm close to losing my mind. Oh, the, the, the motion, the callback. The callback, man. Oh, I didn't... I, I was in two minds on whether that was actually going to work, and... Oh my god, look at it. Look. Look at it. Can you blame me? Oh my god. Where you could once kneel here. For Gwendolyn. And the Blades of the Dark Moon. My god. So freaking cool. So awesome. It just feels... Just being in this room here, when it's, you know, unimaginably explicit, like it's, it's, it's too explicit, it's... It's so, such a crazy kind of somewhat emotional feeling. It's just, man, I don't know. It's just so, such a strange feeling. It's so, so cool. In this room, looking at these stairs and that carpet down there. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I wonder if that's going to work. Ember. Just taking a look around here. Man. I don't know. This, this place... This place certainly got colder as well, didn't it? It was always a more temperate vibe to um, the OG. Even when you revealed an Orlando for its true self, it was still dark then. The sunlight was an illusion, even though that was my favorite part of it anyway, the bright an Orlando I preferred. But the dark an Orlando was the, the re quote unquote real version and uh, certainly felt warmer than this and like I was saying even when it was dark and you saw the real version it was still warmer than this maybe as the age of fire wore on and died out a little bit places got a little cooler it certainly would make sense right that thing's not going to turn anymore because it's all boat frozen and buried in snow I'm wondering too if that's actually. I'm wondering if that's like the chapel, the church, um, that housed the painted world. No, it's a lot smaller. It can't be unless part of it was, you know, deconstructed. You know, so many things can change over time. It, it might have even been moved up a little, a little bit. You know, positionally, and you know, all that kinds of stuff. They might have just rebuilt it at some point in the past. But. I don't know, it, it certainly piques my interest anyway. Very, very um, enticing stuff, that is for sure, without a doubt. Oh man, so cool. So damn cool. Damn, walking these halls, it's, it's just not the same. It's, it feels so... And I'm not saying not the same as in it's no good. I, I mean, it's, it's not the same as in you can... You can feel the passage of time, and it's just different. You know, references and emotions, you know, of a bygone era, slightly revisited her. And it, it does invoke a, vary of emo a, a variety of emotions too, but... I don't know, there's, there's something just surreal about it, that's all. There really is. 
Oh my god, the brass set from the Dark Moon Nightess. Rest in peace, Firekeeper. Of course, you've got the tomb here as well. Oh man, look at the smog. You can see here the rubble on the floor as well, as if, you know, it's been abandoned and, you know, people have come in here to try and excavate and, and things like that. It's just... Wow. Hey. Good to see that, though. The flowers are still there. The flowers still remain. That's still a, that's a nice touch. The chests are gone, by the looks of things. But, um... Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is awesome. This is a really nice way to end the episode as well, I think. Ah, so there is one of you left, is there? Reversal ring? Hold up, what's that gonna be for? Hold on. Hold on, what the hell? I'm probably getting a little bit too giddy here, but uh, I'm... Deeply intrigued as to what this ring is. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> That's for sure. Males can perform female actions and vice versa. A divine ring granted to the Dark Moon Gwendolyn in his youth. Okay, now that makes a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> uh, if, you knew, if you knew what Gwendolyn was like in the original, it, that makes a lot of sense there. Uh, causes males to perform female actions and vice versa. Gwendolyn was raised like a daughter through the aura of the moon and was said to behave like a sullen brooding goddess. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much, uh... Pretty much fits. <laughs> um, alrighty then. Hey, you know what, though? What does the ring actually do, though? What, what, what does it do when we, when we equip that? It doesn't even tell. Like, let's equip that shit. Let's equip that for sure. What's it do? Let me just. I mean, I've got to check, right? I don't know. I've got no. I've got no idea. Maybe there's a secret use for it later on. Maybe there's some kind of. I don't know. Maybe there is some kind of secret. <laughs> Secret use for this in the future at some point. I've got no idea. As of right now, though, I think I'll um, I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on for the fun of it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave it on for now. Okay, let's put our gear back on as well. Um, there we go. Lord Snow. Um, drang gauntlets. Drang. Drang, drang, drang lake. Okay, there you go. Good stuff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time. This message screws it all up, right? Um, no princess head, therefore, time for tears. Let's take a seat here, just on a step below. A step below. I feel like this will be the best way. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been Beowulf, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.